Okay. Hi there. Um, excuse the way I look. It is 7 o'clock in the morning and I just had coffee and I haven't put my face on yet. But I wanted to do this video before I forget because I feel like it is important to put this information out there in my experience because I haven't seen many other videos uh, going over this. I've seen maybe two at least with this specific company. The company is Rainbow and they sell air purifiers slash vacuums that use a water tank instead of bags and filters. They filter everything through the water so supposedly it's <clears throat> much cleaner and better for you and it cleans your air and um, so I had never heard of this company um, never I, I don't follow anything like that and I had a suspicion it was a pyramid scheme from the beginning just because of the way things unfolded <clears throat> a friend of mine sorry <clears throat> reached out to me a few weeks ago uh, to see if he could show us or do a demonstration for an air purifier. That's what he told us. And I haven't spoke to this friend for a few months. I don't, we've, I've known him for years and we keep in touch every few months. Um, great guy, really nice. Um, always, I've always trusted him and, uh, so I asked him how much it was and he said it's at least 200 that's what he told me and I just said uh well you know I'll be honest with you we're probably not interested financially we're not in the the best place right now I'm pregnant with our second child and we're just kind of winging it at the moment and so um so I agreed and it took a few weeks but we finally got him over here and he brought a gentleman who I guess is the lead, who is the actual salesperson in the company of Rainbow, and uh, brought in this huge contraption, had everything laid out, and proceeded to show us this demonstration, which took about three hours. And uh, it was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. My husband and I were sitting there pretty impressed. Now, I clean houses for a living, so I know cleaning hacks we have like four vacuums um so they just went through and showed us basically how our vacuums are dirty and the dirt still and the dust still escapes the vacuum and you're breathing that in and it's not sanitary and this and that and then they showed us how their rainbow vacuum can trap all the dirt in the water and it purifies the air and it keeps it cleaner and you would have to clean less <clears throat> than if you were using a regular vacuum and dust less if you use the purifier and the vacuum together. And so it took about two hours to get through all their attachments and everything and everything the vacuum did. And the last few things they showed us, they let us use the vacuum in our room. And I used it for about five minutes and that was where I was kind of like, um, okay, I don't think this thing's all it's chalked up to be because it was not picking up very well at all. And uh, the big selling point for this guy was like, well, it always will be filtering air, bringing air in. It will never lose that, like a vacuum where the suction gets less over time and just clogged. And, you know, this thing was not picking up as, as it claimed. And then, uh, he showed us the carpet cleaner, which it's like, hey, yeah, that's pretty cool. But it had about 50 attachments, it seems like. Um, and the hose, I had to drag this thing around with the hose. And I couldn't, like a regular vacuum, you move the whole thing with you. You're not dragging anything except the cord, which is pretty easy to drag around. So for me cleaning houses, this was not going to be uh, smart. It, was, it wasn't it was going to cut my time in half, and it looked like it would take way longer to pick up stuff and just suck everything up. And so 
I knew pretty quickly where this was going. I could tell it right away it was a pyramid thing and an MLM thing uh, because the catch was this vacuum was $3,900 outright, full price. But if we accepted the offer, and the offer was for us to get 12 of our friends, and they had to be couples, they couldn't be single people, because there's no way they could afford or be interested in something like this. So 12 people, and if two of them bought it or decided to join in on this, then we would get it paid for. And if we accepted that offer that night, it would be $600 off for us right away. We wouldn't be paying the $3,900, it would be $3,300. And so, um, you know, there was some pressure there. They weren't like in our faces about it, but it was like, we just did this whole demonstration for you. This thing looks amazing. And, you know, um, there was pressure there that we had to commit. And I asked them if they could step out for a minute so I could talk to my husband. Because my husband was like totally taken by this. He was just like, yeah, this thing is amazing. And this is awesome I mean it's just the way they presented it it looked really cool and like it would be beneficial in the long run and worth the money but I was just thinking to myself I don't want to go to my friends and be deceptive and try to scam them into this for a vacuum that's thirty nine hundred dollars and say none of your people want to buy it, you're responsible for that. You still end up having to pay for it. And, uh, you know, another thing that bothered me is the guy was trying to pull us into actually working for the company too. And my friend is in training, so he sat there while this, the main guy did the whole demonstration. And he was like, yeah, I'm doing it too. I'm in training right now too. And I'm just thinking to myself, why, you know, please don't quit your day job because you're, you know, the odds of you being able to sell this, I mean, depending on how good of a salesperson you are, is slim because of the price and that you have to basically con other friends or family members into getting on the bandwagon with you to get it for free. And it just seemed very deceptive and manipulative and a good way to put a strain on your friendships and relationships. And I wanted to say something to him, but I didn't. And I just, we thanked them and said, no, no, thank you. You know, we'll think about it. And if anything, we'll just buy it outright if we really want to do it. But, uh, and I'm glad I had the smarts to say something because my husband was like ready to agree to it. And he, the thing we just, we didn't want to have to sell it to our friends and family because we're just not like that. We're not, our friendships aren't based off those things. Like, oh, if you love me or if you're our friends and you'll do this for me to my benefit, it just is very de deceptive and it isn't fair to do that to your friends. And so that is one key marker of MLMs and pyramid schemes is you have to have other people join in with you. One thing that bugs me is they say that you're working for yourself. It's your own business. You're an independent contractor, but it's not your own business because you didn't come up with this idea. You're working for them and everything's based off if you sell any of these things or if you can convince people to do this too. And, you know, for $3,900 for an air purifier vacuum that doesn't even suck that well, I was just kind of, you know, I, I don't understand how people get taken by this and manipulated by it. And, you know, I don't doubt that the product is beneficial and cleans well, but as far as vacuuming, it couldn't suck up crap. <laughs> I mean, I had to go over and over on a small area rug, like just to pick up stuff. and. You know, and then it apparently it seemed like you'd have to clean every piece of the equipment after using it, otherwise, it wouldn't work as well. And you know, with a regular vacuum, yeah, there may be dust escaping, but 
I mean, you're not going to be able to avoid dust. You go outside, you're going to breathe in dust. You can't purify outside. So it just seemed uh, like a farce and a scam. And so I just made this video to let other people know that, you know, definitely use some common sense before joining in on these things. And if Rainbow was smart and the product really was all they claim it to be, they would lower the price because there's no way they made it for $4,000. There's no way they manufactured that. It did not cost them that. They would lower the price and sell it in a store. And if it was that great, people would be buying it. They wouldn't have to do this scheme. Uh, apparently, they save on advertising doing it this way. And that's a big reason why they pressure people to do it this way and try to get people to come in on this. You know, it always ends up being the bigger people on top make the money and the lower man on the totem pole is doing all the work and they really don't make much at all. They get a free vacuum <laughs> and get to put some strain on their relationships in the long run. So it's just, you know, really think about this stuff before you decide or get conned into doing these things. And thank God I've I'm familiar with these things and the way they're set up and so I know pretty quickly when I'm getting taken and uh, so I just want to make this video sorry I look rough I don't have makeup on and it's early morning and I just wanted to make it before um, I started my day and forgot all about it so all right take care